classic rock song ever written. Oh man, check that out. Uh, Maestro uh, harmonica, or accordion amplifier from the 60s. Four eight inch speakers. Um, God, what a tone. Plugged right into it. I mean, that's incredible, right? I mean, that's like what I consider to be perfect rock and roll distortion. <laughs> Tweaked it up for me. Look at this thing. Look at that. It's it's beautiful. It looked like uh, somebody peed on it when I first got it. But Evo made it real nice. Not only does he fix the amps and make them run perfectly, he makes them cosmetically beautiful. I don't know how he does it. He's like a magician. Ebo, I love you. You are my main man. Man, I... It's good to have some good pals in this life, you know? Bubba, Jed, Nikki G, Greggy V. I'm a lucky, I'm a lucky man, you know? Um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, man, let's dig this one more time. Model. I don't know the model. I'll find out what it is, but it's got 
four original eight inch speakers in it. And it, and it barks, man. It barks really good. Thanks for all the kind words about the recent videos we put up. Thanks for all the um, chipping in and weighing in about the uh, the Teddy guitar and w what you thought of it compared to the old Gibson. That was interesting, right? I didn't want to say nothing in the video, but I had some deep thoughts about you know, what was going on there sonically in my head. I I think the Teddy guitar has got some got some vibe, but but ain't nothing can touch these old guitars, man. It's just it ain't gonna happen. Uh but you know, that's just one man's opinion. Uh I saw my old buddy Matt Warren last night. Hey Matt. Went to a little party. You know what's fun to do at a party with grown ups when you got a bunch of people sitting around a table? Get out some cards and start dealing blackjack. I do that all the time. That's one of my old tricks. Um, but that really livens up the party. Just fake blackjack. You don't have to get real money out, but just deal out the hands. Larry's a big blackjack fan. I don't know if you guys knew that. But they all said I made a good dealer. I have a good dealer's demeanor. I appreciate that. I spent enough time at those tables, I'll tell you that. I'm sure some of you have too. Um, a couple things I'm going to tell you real quick. This today's not going to be long. Um, you know that band that I was working with um, in Bloomington, Indiana there, the, the Cliffs? Well, um, you know, we're still working on that album and everything. And, and uh, you, you could tell I was duly impressed by those guys, you know, young fellas playing that well and, and being that tight. So when I got back home, we got some of the roughs from the, from the project and I, and I sent them to a dear friend of mine who who arranged for them to do a little showcase for a major record label. So a couple nights ago, we all got together and, uh, and the band showcased five songs for, you know, the, the head cheese. And uh, man, it was so exciting to, to watch. Uh, you know, they were so fired up and ready to go and they put on a hell of a show and a uh, very small crowd in attendance, but very important crowd. I felt like a proud father watching those boys up there. I'm telling you, man, they were killing it. And uh, Lord knows what happened. Uh, you never know, man. Maybe that, maybe they'll get rich and famous out of this deal. Who knows? I just hope they'd take me to some of the parties after after they're rich and famous. You know, the token old guy. But yeah, um, so good luck, Cliffs. And uh, they're playing a gig uh, March 9th or fe February 9th at this really cool club in Nashville called The Basement. And um, it should be great. You guys should come out and see The Cliffs. The Basement. Um, uh, yeah, that's coming up. February 9th. Okay. Man, I need my glasses. I can't see shit. It's terrible. Um, February 9th at The Basement. Yeah, come on and see um, what else was I going to tell you? I had something else I was going to tell you. Oh, it was really important, I'm sure. Um, I can't remember. You know, I'll play for a minute and then it'll come back to me. It'll all come back to me. <laughs> I wanted to show you something, okay? And I'll probably get sued for this, and there'll be some copyright infringement, but but all I'm trying to do here for, for all the YouTube police is just showcase how amazing this is, okay? We've all heard this a million times, right? But just listen to it one more time. Listen to the way dude fills in between the vocal, okay? Just listen to how perfectly placed and tasteful these fills are in, in the, the interplay between the vocal and, and, and the guitar, okay? We've heard this a million times. It's the greatest shit ever. And, but, but ignore the amazing intro and listen to when he gets into the verse, the, 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 the back and forth between him and his brother, 
Okay, check it out. I'll play it from the top because we gotta hear it. How about how ghostly it is when he goes. It's not. He's just half step. So ghostly. So badass. All right, here we go. I can get this louder, sorry. That's all it does. Right here. Play the same thing twice. Rushing is great. That's the thing about the bros. They, they, they especially Dickie, are prone to rush when they play, but it creates a, uh, a real uh, electric feeling. Dickie was way on top when he played. But that shit right there. In my humble opinion, some of the greatest guitar shit ever. And I'm not even the biggest Dwayne freak. I mean, I know there's people out there that are real Dwayne freaks, man. I am. I don't. I don't even own any of the albums, uh, but I love him. But man, that shit. Oh, I have one album. I have uh, "Eat a Peach on Vinyl." I love how, how, on that record. There's this this one side four is like they needed something to fill side four. <laughs> of the vinyl and they put this like 18 minute instrumental jam and it sounds exactly like that scene in Spinal Tap when they try to go in a new direction. I hope you enjoy our new direction. This is Derek Smalls on the bass. He wrote this, <clears throat> but it's amazing. Uh, but dude, that shit right there, amazing. Okay, <clears throat> uh, what else? Uh, is that it for today? Okay. Well, let's let's talk about that <clears throat> that thing he does, right? Like he goes I'm playing slide, of course, but I'm just doing it with my fingers. Those half steps, because if you're doing it with the slide, you don't have to go all the way down the whole step, right? This slide's terrible. But that's all I got. He's, of course, he's in open E tuning, you know, but but that's the thing. You don't have to go. So much creepier. It's so much cooler. Half step slides. Uh, yeah. Experiment with that today with your open tunings, kids. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye bye.